All right, and the first thing we're gonna do is drop down a couple of lines. And let's go for sudo apt-get install php my admin apache2 since we're doing this on ubuntu server dash utils return then it's going to ask for permission we'll hit yes and here we'll select apache2 and yes for configuring php my admin And now we're going to create a password. Uh, if we leave it blank, it's just going to randomly generate one. And confirm. Okie dokie, let's drop down a couple of lines. Sudo nano forward slash Etsy forward slash Apache 2 forward slash apache2 dot conf conf it's gonna go keep going down keep going down you can arrow down and we're gonna type include space forward slash etsy forward slash php my admin forward slash apache dot conf and control c and y to confirm the changes we're going to reload apache sudo service apache to restart and we're going to sudo nano forward slash etsy forward slash php my admin forward slash apache dot conf all right and we're just gonna arrow key down and we're going to create an override allow override All. <clears throat> okay. Well, this looks good. All right, we'll control C and save the changes. And now we're going to sudo nano forward slash user forward slash shared forward slash php my admin forward slash dot htt access. And we're going to auth type basic auth name warning this is a sensitive info we're going to give it a message uh, you can create any message you like here that's just the one that I chose and we're going to do auth user all this is uh, case sensitive so just be aware auth user file forward slash etsy forward slash apache2 forward slash dot php my admin dot htpa sswd and we're going to require validation dash user and control C and yes to save and we're gonna sudo ht password minus C forward slash Etsy forward slash Apache 2 
forward slash dot php my admin dot https w d all right space username and we're going to create a new password and retype it oops uh looks like i got a verification error uh, let's try this again and we're actually going to change the username to snipe it and we're going to try that again all right there we go now we're going to go into sudo service apache 2 and reload and it looks like there was an error let's do a little bit of research uh, in the journal ctl file and figure out where our error is that is a little odd but we should be able to find it so this will also be a quick uh way to kind of do a little bit of a research into how uh, errors are reported in logs and how to correct errors but i don't think it should be anything too serious if anything most likely just a typo all right and let's see what we've got here mm -hmm. okay so it looks like there is a syntax error on line eight of the php myadmin.conf file and we're gonna copy this to get to that directory so we can figure out how and why we made a mistake okay and we're gonna sudo nano paste in that directory and let's see what we've got here Aha, uh -huh, here's the culprit. Uh, I missed a space in between the allow override and all. So it was a syntax error. Uh, there has to be a space between the all, otherwise it does not understand that command. So let's save this, return it one more time, and let's try to reload. Service Apache 2, reload. All right, there we go. So that was successful. Uh, that was our main problem there. Let's open up a new window. Uh, in a web browser, type in our IP address and forward slash PHP my admin. All right, that was the user we created and the password. Excellent. So we got in there. Let's bring that up one more time. And we're going to put in our username. Oh, not sure. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not sure why I wrote root there. Uh, let's try that one more time. And we're going to type in our username, which is snipe it with the password that we created earlier. Excellent. And there you go. That is the process for installing PHP my admin. Uh, and giving you the ability to easily manage your MySQL databases and import and restore from backups. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you back next time.